Hey everyone, this is Ben Reno here again, and welcome to my channel. Today what we're going to be talking about is Nintendo's just announced Super Nintendo SNES Classic. And it's dated for September, and it's going to be a little bit more expensive than the NES Classic. It's going to be $80 to start. It's going to be launching September 29th. Um, the one thing though that's different is it does come with two controllers this time as opposed to just one. So you're getting a little bit more value there. The controllers weren't very expensive though, so it seems like they're taking a little bit of advantage of people's uh, nostalgia, but I'll let it pass because of all the other stuff included. Um, it is going to be hooking up via HDMI again, and power is going to be through USB. Um, What's weird is that the uh, the European version is not going to be coming with the AC adapter, but the US version will, so that's good. But the big thing here is the games list. Now, the NES Classic had 30 built-in games. The Super Nintendo only has 21. So there's a bit of a step down in games, a bit of a step up in price. I really think adding that second controller in those is really going to help. And not to mention the Super Nintendo games are a lot more complete experiences than the NES games. The NES games are games you can play for a few minutes and basically ex uh, basically go to the limits of what the game can do. But with Super Nintendo games, they're a lot longer. There's a lot more that you can do in them. So let's talk about the, the list here. First one on the list. Star Fox 2. Now, if you don't know, Star Fox 2 was a game that was 99% complete, but they just didn't release it because they didn't want to galvanize the sales of Star Fox 64 for the new Nintendo 64. They didn't want to pump life into the Super Nintendo. They wanted to sell the new system. But, you know, a couple of years ago, a ROM was leaked to the internet of a mostly complete version of Star Fox 2. And they just decided to put the finishing touches on it and put it into the game and put it into the system. So that's great. Um, let's look at the rest of the list, though. There's Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country. And this is a really good list so far. Earthbound. Oh, my God. Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Course, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Goals and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch Out, and Yoshi's Island. Now, I know a lot was made about the NES Classic when it was initially announced about the value of the games inside of it and how that reflected uh, based on the price you were paying. Um, now, if I'm just going to go through a few of these games here, um, Earthbound, that's a $200 game uh, on the high end, but still, you're getting that included. Final Fantasy III, $60 to $70. Um, a Link to the Past, it's now really etching up. It's $20 to $40. Mega Man X is very expensive. Um, Super Castlevania 4, again, that's a $20 to $40 game. Uh, Super Mario RPG, very, very expensive. It's a rare game. And then um, Super Metroid is easily $50. So, you know, the value you're getting here is incredible. Um, you're getting HDMI output, which is going to make all the games look crisp and clear. And um, if the NES Classic was any indication, we're going to get another custom interface and it's going to be, you know, uh, nice. Uh, I just, I really like the NES Classic. I'm really looking forward to getting this. There's uh, the games I'm looking forward to most on here. Final Fantasy III, um, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox 2, Super Castlevania 4, if you haven't played it, is one of the most amazing games on the Super Nintendo. Really, really good. Um, you know, Mario Kart falls to the wall very hard. And then um, Super Metroid is definitely a 10 out of 10 game for the Super Nintendo. I played through it last year um, with my brother and we were just enthralled through the entire experience. It was an amazing, amazing game. So this seems like a really good value. Again, September 29th for $79. Looking forward to it. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section below. I'll link to the article which I was reading from. 
Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.